Hi, I'm Wilson Cleveland from Leap Year, and this is my channel. So the first episode I picked was Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Hush. It is the most truly terrifying episode of the entire series, and probably the most unique premise. No one talks for 40 minutes. My next pick is a show that I produce and I'm on, but bear with me. God, how selfish are you? Leap Year is, is very much a dramedy, but this episode in particular hits more of the drum than the ad. It's really the first time we explored uh, sort of the darker side and more serious side of something that started out being very sort of light and funny. They said they would make the lawsuit go away. Oh, well, it does make me feel better that you sold us out for money. What was I supposed to do? None of you came rushing to help me, did you? The other thing about this episode is we have Eliza Dushku handcuffed in a closet, so, you know, there's that. My next pick is Community. It was the season one finale. It's a parody of the action comedy genre, but what I love about this episode is that it is actually funnier and more action-y than the movies that it parodies. <laughs> And plus, I just love Joel McHale. And tell the drama club their tears will be real today. So my next pick is the series finale of Six Feet Under. I defy anyone not to cry during the last 10 minutes of this episode. It's really just a very stark reminder of how short life is. Thank you for everything. And thank you for giving me life. Gave me life. <laughs> so my next pick is the season four premiere of the original Melrose Place. And you'll remember Marsha Cross played crazy Dr. Kimberly Shaw. And she had the wig and she pulled off the wig and had the big scar. And nuts. This episode, she kind of, you know, all bets were off. Like she blew up the entire Melrose Place. No! My next pick is the second SNL digital short. Um, first was Lazy Sunday, and then was Natalie Raps. Clean mother on that yak and that Durban, doing 120, getting who while I'm swerving. Natalie Portman, as a gangster rapper, you know, basically takes a blowtorch to her nice girl image um, and blows the smoke like right in your face. It's hilarious. It's foul mouth. It's one of the funniest videos I have ever seen. We love you, Natalie! I want so my next pick is from the first season of The Office, uh, Diversity Day. This is Steve Carell, Michael Scott at his most, most cringeworthy. Every time black people want to have a good time, some ignorant ass oh, no. I take care of my kids. This episode is just a celebration of, of political incorrectness. Say a race that you are attracted to sexually. I will go last. Go. I have two. Nice. White and Indian. 